Hello, today we're going to look at plant tissues and the ones we're going to focus on are labelled or listed on the right hand side there. We've got epidermal, palisade mesophyll, spongy mesophyll, xylem phloem and meristem tissue. Now the best place to see most of these would be in a leaf. So if you were able to slice a leaf across like that and then try and get as thin a slice as possible, as few cells thick as possible, you might just be at to just about be able to see it there. You can whack that onto a slide, a microscope slide with a cover slip and look under the microscope and see if you get a good image. And if you're lucky, you might see something that looks a bit like this. Now that's actually obviously a diagram and it wouldn't be so clear as that one, but you would see something along the lines of those kinds of cells you're seeing there. So what we can do is actually go through and look at the different kinds of tissues. Now be very careful. Remember these are all tissues we're talking about. Um, not individual cells, although the individual cells name, names might be very similar. So here we have the label lines, the guard cells and the stoma on the lower epidermis. The spongy mesophyll is there, phloem and xylem you can see as labelled there. Now we're going to go through each one and talk about the structure and the kind of function that it has. So for our epidermal tissue, on the top layer there, sometimes it's called the upper epidermis, but the reason for having that there is for protection. It's a thin layer, single cell thick. It's transparent, so it doesn't have any chloroplasts. And it's designed for protection, or it's there for protection, and for reducing the amount of water loss. That, combined with the waxy cuticle, reduces water loss quite significantly. And, as we said, it's transparent to allow light through. The palisade mesophyll tissue, now these are rectangular cells, as you can see there. So the tissue is made of rectangular cells, which are closely packed together. They have many chloroplasts. Out of all the cells in the leaf, they have the most number of chloroplasts. And as we know, chloroplasts are really important because they contain a substance called chlorophyll, which absorbs sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. Also, the tissue, the palisade Mesophyll tissue is always found near the upper surface, or at least the majority of leaves found on the upper surface where the light hits the plant. And as we said, the main point of this tissue is to absorb light for photosynthesis. Then we have the epidermal tissue at the lower end, so we, oh, that's often called the lower epidermis, but the difference with the lower epidermis is that you'll find a thinner or no waxy cuticle, but you'll also find these guard cells and they can swell or shrink, and when they do, they can open or close these gaps called stomata. So I've written the word stoma there because that's one, so that's singular. When you've got many, it's stomata. But what stomata do is they control gas exchange. That's carbon dioxide and oxygen moving in and out of the leaf, and they help to control water loss. The spongy mesophyll tissue is made of cells that are more irregularly shaped compared to the palisade mesophyll cells, and they are loosely packed into the area in the middle of the leaf there, and that means there's going to be plenty of air spaces. And this is important because it allows the gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen, to move or diffuse quite quickly and easily into the cells or out of the leaf, depending on what the gas is and where it's going. This is the phloem tissue, and the job of the phloem tissue is translocation of sugars to other parts, parts of the plant. And that's either for use in respiration or for storage. We also have xylem tissue, which is made up of xylem cells, and we've looked at both xylem and phloem in detail before, but the xylem is responsible for the transport of minerals and water up the plant. It also has a role in supporting the plant as well. We've got our waxy cuticle, which is a layer of a waxy type of material, and that is very useful for reducing water loss, making the leaf waterproof, and that helps to reduce water loss in combination with the upper epidermis. So let's just highlight the key points there, the key words so they don't get lost in all that writing. And these are the tissues that you need to be able to describe the structure and function of in a plant. There's also one more type of tissue that we're going to look at very briefly in a moment, but these are the main ones. So the last type of tissue here is called meristem tissue. And we've looked at this in a previous video, but it's worth just reminding ourselves. So meristem tissue is found at the shoot tip, the root tip, and sometimes on some of the branches. And the important thing about the meristem tissue is that it is undifferentiated. That means it can become any other kind of cell in the plant. Okay, so this is a summary of plant tissues. The main things you need to know, lots of memory work, but needs to be done.